So, I was a student about three and a half years ago. I was studying at the University of Waterloo, which is considered the MIT of the North, because I'm from Canada. And so I was somebody who liked to go out, play video games, hang out with friends. So I thought, why don't I improve my reading and studying time? So I taught a computer how to read. And what I did was I taught it how to summarize textbooks, sort of like Cole's notes. So you can put up an app, uh, the whole textbook, and you get about one page per chapter. Stopped going to school, still got good grades. My friends heard about it and said, hey, can you share the technology with us? So I put it up on the Google App Store, and two weeks later, it was one of the best 50 apps on the store, more than 33 countries. We were literally on every continent except Antarctica, because penguins can't read. Yeah. <laughs> and so the, we worked on that, Google called one of the best 50 apps. And about two and a half years ago, we pivoted into the insurance space, where we've been playing in it and exclusively in it. And so we have what we call out-of-the-box insurance. We're an AI platform centered around natural language processing. That's a fancy way of saying we teach computers how to read, and we do that to identify, analyze, and categorize information relative to insurance very, very quickly and very, very <coughs> accurately. Last thing I'd like to highlight on the slide is that at the end of last year, we raised the second largest seed round in Canadian history, the largest since 1998, so take that as you will. So let's talk a bit about the insurance market, because that's really why we're all here. Today, the market is very slow, reactive, and product-centric. And the goal is to make it agile, predictive, and customer-centric. But there are many constraints working against all of us in this room. Increasing operating costs, errors and emissions, which nobody likes to hear about. But probably the biggest driver of all change is enhancing the user experience. As millennials and other buying groups come to market, they expect everything to be online, digital, and custom to them. And one of the best ways to meet these problems is by leveraging what we call digital employees, which you can think about as someone who doesn't eat coffee, feels great every day, Monday to Friday, Christmas Eve or January 1st, comes into the office 24-7, 365, and works perfectly. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can achieve this automation. A lot of people talk about desktop automation, which is sort of like macros to, to price things in your Excel. People are now starting to talk about RPA or robotic process automation. What we're here to talk to you about today is AI. And the biggest difference between AI and RPA is the ability for the machine to learn and improve over time. Because in RPA, you have to define the rules for every single case. And so AI has seven fields, starting from machine learning all the way down to robotics, which is the Terminator. So we won't talk about that one today. Um, and what we focus on, as I mentioned, is natural language processing, and more specifically, content extraction and classification. And we leverage every single type of machine learning to do that. Deep learning, supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement, you name it, we got it. And this is what it looks like. We're able to take any document, a submission, a quote, an application, a policy, and extract all the entities. Who are the people that are parties to this agreement? Who's the insurer? Who are we insuring? Who's the broker? How much are we insuring them for? What locations are we insuring? What's the deductible? What's the limit? All of the information you need to make smart decisions, either as a broker or as a carrier. And we do this to essentially automate tasks that used to take hours into seconds. We're talking policy checking, policy renewals, code comparisons, but the one we're going to talk about today is submission triage. And so as I mentioned, we have a bunch of solutions, but we're going to talk about is submission triage. And so this is the use case that we had. We work with, with the second largest carrier in Canada, who works with about 3,000 brokers. They invested tens of millions of dollars building a digital portal to only have 600 of those 3,000 brokers start to use it. Now you can imagine, if 80% of your client base is not using it, that's not good business. And so they came to us and said, we love a solution that can take a PDF document from any broker that looks hundreds of different ways and maps it to CZO, which is the Canadian equivalent of a court. And so we've done just that. We have built an API out of the box that you can ping an arbitrary looking PDF and it magically comes out looking like a cord on the other end. So this is what it looks like. So you take a form like this, we've highlighted some of the information, comes out like this. So you're able to take the broker information, you're able to map the applicant information, you're able to map any types of claims history that they've had in the past, you're able to map out what deductibles do they want, for what lines of coverage, what co-insurance, and what limits. And all of this takes less than one second to do out of the box. 
So there's a, a variety of ways we help. Um, accuracy is way more accurate than the human and only gets better. It's about 400 times faster, 90% cheaper. We found that our clients are able to, to quote on two times as much business due to this increase in capacity. But really the biggest one is client satisfaction. Thank you. <laughs>